Oh, happy holidays, banana family. Here we are back at Rock Peak Farms with our pal Balthazar. It's the sixth day of spring, 6.20 a.m. Got a little bit of gold from what we uh, put in yesterday. Let's see what's going on here. Yeah, beautiful. We got some beautiful spring flowers falling from the trees. So I did do the math and uh, the vegetables that we put in the box and that we sold to Pierre uh, actually equate to the same. So I guess it's ra rather a fact of if you want the money now or do you want the money later be a little patient. Um, let's see, first things first, we got some mail. Marcel, just tell me you've been poking around inside the old community center. Why don't you pay me a visit? My chambers are west of the forest lake in the stone tower. I may have information concerning your rat problem. Okay, those weird creatures calling them a rat. So first and foremost, we're gonna go ahead and water our veggies. You know, we got some good tips uh, from you guys in the last video. I do appreciate all the love and support. And I said, fill the watering can up before you go to sleep to save up on energy. And uh, it's just ridiculously smart. It's something small that you can do the night before. Um, considering you're not gonna need that energy, it's just going to sleep anyway as opposed to wasting two energy the next day. We all know that it takes about two energy to perform most of the actions we've all been doing. So that two energy can, you know, be chopping down a tree or pouring some water on your little babies here. Okay, that's everything. We're gonna go fill this water can up. All right, I like it. So that's what we got now. Let's look at our journal. Meet the wizard. Enter the wizard's tower. Our delivery. We should probably do that before we get started on, on anything else. We have advancement, reach farming level 1, and craft a scarecrow. So just to be safe and keep our plants from being eaten while we're gone, let's go ahead and craft that scarecrow now. We need 50 wood, 1 coal, 20 fiber. We saved everything, so we should have more than enough. There we go. About eight tiles prevents crows from attacking your crops. Is a limited radius of eight tiles. So we might need. Let's make two just in case. It's a lot more wood than I'd like, but that's okay. Let's see. Where can we place him? Eight tiles away. So one, two. So him. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's quite a bit. So we might not have needed two. There's not a real good place to put him. That's not in the way. Probably just put him here. One, two, three, four, five. That's good. One, two, oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you won't get those guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's go ahead and put our pal there. Perfect. I should keep everything safe, but I did not count for these guys here. Let's just bring the other guy out. Five. Okay, so that's just about the radius. That's actually quite large, which I'm happy with. So we did make one for no reason, but you know, we won't waste it. Okay, so let's go get our buddy Sebastian some soda. Okay, Jojo Mart. One Jojo Cola, please. Jojo Soda. Jojo's favorite soda is root beer, so we're just going to say that's all they sell is root beer. Now, as I was running over here, I did see Sebastian take off down south. Let's see if we can track him down. Where is he? Hmm. Let's look at the map. Blacksmith, Mayor's Manor. Where does he stay at? Guess we're just gonna have to find him, huh? There he is. Hey, thanks for the help. This is just what I wanted. Sweet. Oh, wrong one. Delivery done. We also got this one done. Another 100 gold. Awesome. I love it. So, 680. We have a little bit of a profit. Let's go see what we can buy in Pierre's. All 
right. It's, it is I. Fresh mountain air is nice on a day like this. It sure is. I used to live up in the mountains of Colorado, and the mornings were absolutely beautiful out there. Albeit cold, but I still loved it. Let's see what we got. Hmm. Oh, those are parsnips we sold. Look at that. We should go with something. What haven't we? I mean, we've grown all of this. Um, we could go with some more kale. Six days. Let's do five more kale and five more potatoes in there and grow at the same time. I like that. We're poor again, but that's okay. That's okay. We should start saving money after this. Well, let's uh, get back to the farm and plant some of this. Right, here we are, back at Throck Peak. So we know that these are potatoes. This is our kale. And this is our cauliflower. In the last video I said this is our cauliflower. My mistake, um, I did put the edit up there. And if I continue to do that, uh, feel free to go ahead and just poke some fun at me in the comments. But we got five more, so let's go one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, five. Hmm, just to make it pretty. We'll just do, we'll just do a whole row. One. Okay. Let's go ahead and put our kale down. Oh. Bit of lag there for some reason. Computer's thinking a little hard. Wonderful. And of course I put my watering can back. That's fine. Just a couple seconds to go through here. There we go. Wonderful. All right. As I ran, I did forage a couple more items here that we're just gonna throw into the box for now. All right. Now, let's look at our journal. Head to the wizard's tower. Let's go do that. Let's go meet with old Gandalf the Grey. The wise one. The Mithrin deer, if you will. Oh, I love these flowers falling. So, I know the last two videos were a bit long. Um, and like I said, time flies when you're having fun. Um, so, I'm, I'm generally going to try and keep them around 20 minutes. We'll see. Uh, Stardew Valley does run on the day system. And I'm not going to cut a video off in the middle of a day. Uh, oh, is it this way? It's not this way. I'm getting lost. Um, so with that being said, you know, they'll be a little bit shorter. It's easier for you guys to watch. I don't expect anyone to watch a full 45 minute run through. And, that, and that's okay. Um, if you did, then thank you so much. If you didn't, I, I don't blame you. Uh, so I'm going to keep them a little bit shorter. Also, thank you to everyone who joined and watched in on the premiere. Um, I didn't know YouTube was going to do that. That was actually pretty funny. Um, I just wanted to release the video quickly, uh, and they talked about watching the premiere with everybody, and I did, and I happened to chat with some of you guys, and, and that was pretty cool. I did learn a couple little tricks, and also one person did mention where uh, he found my video, and that was really cool, because YouTube doesn't tell you that stuff. Oh, here we are. The wizard. Ah, come in. Some series Zelda vibes again. I am Rasmodius, seeker of the arcane truths, mediator between physical and ethereal, master of the seven elementals, keeper of the sacred ch. Yeah, you get the point. I do. And you, Balthazar, the one whose arrival I have long foreseen. Um, if any of you guys are total war fans, um, Warhammer specifically, then you know who Balthazar Gelt is. Uh, he's probably one of my biggest enemies in that game. Uh, my buddy and I were doing a playthrough, a co-op playthrough of Total War Warhammer, and uh, we were the vampire faction. We are doing really well, and then Balthazar the wizard came down and just completely decimated us. Um, it was it was pretty bad, so <laughs> his name's pretty funny, so we just use it for everything. Um, here, I'd like to show you something. I'll try and keep his voice going here. Behold. Oh! There it is. Oh, dude, let him go. 
You've seen one before, haven't you? They call themselves the Junimos. Now we have a name for them. Mysterious spirits, these ones, for some reason, they refuse to speak with me. Maybe because you're trapping them, dude. Oh my gosh. I'm not sure why they've moved into the community center, but you have no reason to fear them. That was the community center symbol. I think that was the tablet. Hmm, you found a golden scroll written in an unknown language. Most interesting. Stay here. I'm going to see for myself. I'll return shortly. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> this dude threw out the peace out sign. Uh, that's pretty funny. Uh, I guess we're gonna. Oh, that was fast. I found the note. This guy's a legit wizard. The language is obscure, but I was able to decipher it. We, the Junimo, are happy to aid you. In return, we ask for gifts of the valley. If you are one with the forest, then you will see the true nature of this scroll. Uh, Balthazar didn't know what he signed up for coming out here. Hmm, one with the forest. What do they mean? <laughs> Aha! Come here. My cauldron is bubbling with ingredients from the forest. Baby fern, moss scrub, caramel top, toadstool. Can you smell it? Take a big old whiff of that. Here, drink up. Let the essence of the forest permeate your body. Can't imagine that tastes any good. Ooh. Good thing we did all of our stuff before. Oh, <laughs> he doesn't look well. Lesson to the wise, uh, or lesson from the wise, rather. <laughs> Don't drink anything a strange wizard has just offered you. Who knows what will happen. We'll fade out there. Okay. That was an illuminating experience. I'm gonna go ahead and move on. Go check out the community center again. See what they want. Alright, we're back at the community center down here. Let's go in here and check it out. Now that we have deciphered the scroll, well the wizard did, he said uh, we are one with the forest. Let's go back to this room where that scroll was. Oh, see a little guy. Crafts room. Summer foraging, winter, spring, exotic, construction, and fall. So we're in spring. Let's open that up. So look, this is what I was uh, explaining to you guys. The community center is going to have loads of stuff like this. So if you give them all these items, you will get a reward of a bridge repair. So we happen to have a dandelion with us and a leek. And we know we have a daffodil in our box. We just need to find a horseradish in the daffodil uh, and add them here and we'll be set. Look like some of the other stuff, 100 wood, 200 wood, some hardwood for bridge repair. So I'm thinking all, all of it's for bridge repair. Okay. All right, so that'll be, we'll finish off the spring one. We can probably do the crafting one as well. But I think our main goal still uh, for this episode and the next episode uh, is going to be uh, getting up our chicken coop and putting a fence around that beautiful little area down there. I think that'll definitely be the move, um, what we should go for. So let's head back to the farm. We have all this energy. It's seven. The sun's going to be going down here soon. And we're going to go ahead and get rocking and rolling um, at clearing out that bottom area as best we can and probably making some fences around it to get ready for the chicken coop. Uh, we're going to save up some money. We'll see what we get out of all these veggies that we have. Uh, hopefully it's roughly around four grand because that's how much it was down there and then we can build it up and be all nice and pretty and we'll buy a couple chickens and you know get the benefits of them it's gonna be a good time 
Um, I also want to thank you guys again for, for the support. It's uh, a lot of fun <laughs> talking to you guys and, and seeing what you guys want on here. And again, definitely throw me some suggestions down there, guys, uh, of stuff you want to see get done. And, and any tips and tricks are always welcome because um, I definitely got a few in the last one, which is a big help because uh, we all know. Oh, no, I lost some of the wood there. Uh, we all know that with this right there, I just didn't know how to get rid of it. And it's as easy as this. <gasps> It's the pickaxe. There it is. That was my fault. But look at that. That, that would have saved me a couple of gray hairs. Because uh, I stressed out a lot about that. A little bit. Oh, it's getting dark quick. It's almost nine. We'll just chop down this one tree. And we'll get going. Beautiful. Yeah, I don't want my guy to stay up too late. Let's get up there. Let this poor guy go to sleep. Balthazar worked so hard. He was sprinting around all day. You know, if he gave Balthazar the one ring, he would have gotten that thing to Mordor in probably two days' time, the way this man runs. Uh, Olympic Sprinter. Why would it look like this right here? Not a fan. Let's get rid of that. There we go. Beautiful. Let's call it a night. Okay. We didn't level up at all, and that's fine. So actually, since I'm trying to keep these episodes short, um, I'm going to cut it off there. Uh, the nice thing is, is with me doing these shorter episodes, I'll be able to release more content quicker. Um, the shorter episodes mean you know less editing time and quicker upload times. Um, so please, let me know what you guys think about the shorter episodes. If you want them longer, if you want them shorter, if I didn't make enough jokes, if I didn't say enough in this episode, uh, just let me know down below and I'll definitely work on that. Uh, I do take your guys' suggestions and I'll throw them in the video. And when you see it, just know that I was thinking of you when I actually implemented those suggestions. So we're going to let Balthazar, Balthazar here sleep in a little bit. Um, and I'm going to get started to work on that next episode. Um, I appreciate it, guys. Thank you. I uh, hope you have happy holidays. And if you're binge watching this, thank you. I appreciate it. I'm going to get more episodes up and more content for you guys. Till then, I'll see you.